Hey there, Shuby Doodlers. How are you doing? I had a message on a video from Utility Acorn 2 <laughs> asking, could I show how to draw a bookshelf? Well, that's actually quite a tricky, difficult thing. And I've looked at this many, many ways. So I'm assuming this is screwed onto the wall. And so what do we do? We draw a parallelogram and then two very thin parallelograms which makes that like a shelf. It's just a slab of wood or something like that. And if we imagine the it's in 3D, like it's transparent, then if we put two lines coming down there and two lines coming down there, and um, everything wants to be parallel with each other. So there we need to put parallel to there. Then here we're going to go and do this weird curve like that. Okay. And then that will join up there. So this is going to be this like it's like an S shape, an ogive curve. So that really wants to be about there. So that's not quite right. So that wants to be more around like that. And then that will come around like that. And that will be the shelf bracket holding the whole thing up, which really ought to be more there and there, in fact, like that. And then that will be there. Good. Now we need some books and I'm going to make this easy. I'm just going to put three books on here. I'm going to put one. <laughs> and again, that'll be parallel at the top. And then I'm going to put two. <laughs> and then I'm going to put three. And these want to curve slightly. So I'm going to make these. I'm going to make these into um, hardback books. OK. So that's going to go like that. And then this one will be a bit taller here. And that will go, I'll make that a bit taller and that will go back there like that. That will be parallel. So you're just drawing lots and lots of boxes. Books are essentially a box. Okay. And then we're going to want to have um, a bookend. And I'm going to make this easy. Okay, so that will come parallel to this line here. So I'm going to make this kind of a big block of carved stone. I think maybe even a bit fatter. So we'll do it from there instead. So it's just a bit of stone that's been carved into a little quarter triangle. And here you're going to have that going through there. And that will come up there. And that's all you'll see of it. Now the tricky bit with the books is we got a kind of a double sort of thickness. And they're going to curve around there like that. So this is curved here. <laughs> this is, uh, I think it's easy if I just start drawing in ink now. I'm going to draw this side of the book first and curve it around the bottom and then bring it up. I'm going to bring it up to there, in fact. And then that will come around there and that will come down. Oh, this isn't easy. And then that will come to there. That will come across there and that will come down. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? Uh, that will. OK, so that's where the book is there. And then this is this big block of marble, something like that, isn't that, that you'll get as a bookend on the bookshelf. And then here we want that curve. And that will go up there and again we want a curve that will go back down there like that that will come here but then it comes down so that we get that kind of hard back book look don't you in fact you kind of want two lines there really where it kind of the book folds around and then we're going to want the same thing here a curve will come down to there and a curve at the bottom and that will go across to there most of that's hidden away and you might kind of see Something like that there as well, might you? That can come out there and curve around. And then that's that bookend. Now here we're going to draw the bookshelf. So this is just a box, really. And kind of just follow the lines like that. That will go in under there. And then this is the bracket and that's going to come around like that across and that will go across the middle so it's like mm. <laughs> it's not easy that will go there 
That's coming around like that, and then that's coming around like that. Now, when you are sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase all those pencil lines, and people will go, wow, how did you draw that? Because this is actually a very complicated drawing, and I have made it as easy as I possibly can. And I'm going to put some shading in there, and some shading under there like that. And I think we could maybe kind of make that look like wood. We could maybe look make that look like marble or something like that there. I don't want to, I'm not going to put too much shading in here because it's going to make it look really, really messy, I think, if I do. So this is going to be the back of the book with some blurb on it. I think we need to make this look like the pages of a book there. And I think we could make that bit darker on the inside. I'll bring that there like that. So you need to make that look like the pages of the book. We're going to have the title of the books across the top there like that. And maybe a publisher's logo, maybe some more stuff in the middle there. And I think I'm going to make this, um, this marble just a bit different to the rest of it. And I think maybe the shelf underneath needs to be a bit darker as well because that's kind of underneath isn't it there you go how to draw a bookshelf real easy that wasn't easy at all <laughs> make sure you are subscribed click that little button and keep coming back to draw stuff real easy and learn how to draw all sorts of things and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye